Well, good morning, everyone, and thank you for starting your day out with me. I'm Jenna Stauffer. Now, when it comes to the power of social media on politics, one man wrote the book, and that is my guest this morning, Joe Trippi. Now, to give you a little background on him, he has ran presidential campaigns for Ted Kennedy, John Edwards, Howard Dean, and that is just to name a few. I'll be talking more about the Howard Dean campaign later on in today's show. This man has had so much power on politics. Politics. He pioneered the technology that Obama used in 2008 to capture the White House. He's been on the cover of the New Republic as the man who reinvented campaigning. Now, fortunately for us, he's been spending some time here in the Keys. I know he'd like a little bit more relaxation, but his work never stops. Joe, it's a pleasure having you here with me this morning. Good to be with you, Jenna. Now, how do you like Key West, Joe? Love it. Been coming here uh, every winter for, uh, gosh, well well over a decade, uh, probably two decades, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, can't think of a better place to spend, uh, particularly with a blizzard going on up uh, up north where I live. Uh, it, it's, uh, I'm glad I was down here. Yeah. When are you buying a house? Are you going to do that soon here in the Keys? <laughs> <laughs> no, no pressure. Well, no yeah, pressure. We, we keep looking every time we come down, but we just never quite pull the trigger. Okay. Well, Joe, let's just get right in to your background. It's so impressive. I've been doing some research on you, but the first thing I want to note right yes. now is that you are a Fox News analyst, but yet you're a Democratic strategist. Right. So how did you get the connection with Fox? Uh, well, I, you know, I've done so many different campaigns, not just presidential, Jerry Brown's campaign for governor in uh, California in 2010. And along the way, uh, I've been an MSNBC analyst, mm -hmm. an analyst for CBS, and uh, and right now, uh, at last two or three years, have been uh, uh, working as an analyst for Fox, ten mostly on national issues and and presidential politics. Like in the last 2012, I didn't work for Obama in 2012. I I commented on what I thought was going on between him and Mitt Romney and Democrats and Republicans, along with the, and they have they have people from both parties and uh, other analysts and journalists who who kind of help frame um, you know the information flow to tell people you know what they think's going on mm -hmm. um, I turned out I was right <laughs> good <laughs> I, predi you know, I predicted Obama would win with a, with 303 electoral votes and if I was if his model was right it'd be he'd win Florida too and that would take it to 332 uh, but I didn't quite have the guts to call Florida, so I, I was right about 98% of it, but didn't call Florida beforehand. Okay, well then you still have your job, right? But yeah, well, right. Ho <laughs> hopefully, for, for <laughs> at least this year, yes. Okay. Now, Joe, when did your political career begin? Uh, 1979, uh, well, probably mid-70s, probably... Uh, Doing local city council races in San Jose, California. That's where I was. I was going to San Jose State University in Silicon Valley at the time, um, and so. But by '79, I was already had moved nationally. I was had worked uh, gone to work for Senator Kennedy um, out in Iowa for his presidential campaign, and I think it was November or December of 1979. So, pretty much 1980 was when I went it became sort of a, a national. Uh, political uh, organizer uh, and never really went back to California. I mean, I, I, I worked for Jerry Brown's campaign for governor mm -hmm. 2010. I do do campaigns there, but I've been pretty much in Washington and, and um, working in national politics for, for most of that time since 1980. It's a long time. Right. <laughs> <laughs> now, did you always know you wanted to do politics then, Joe? No, no, not at all. I was an aeronautical engineering major in, in uh, college and uh, decided I didn't really need to know what lift drag coefficients were and uh, fell in love with politics and uh, never really, I can't think of anything I've really done with my aeronautical engineering major. Mm -hmm. So the major, it just, it sits in that degree on the shelf, right? Yeah. No, I never got it. I, I left college before oh. to, to go work for Kennedy before with like seven units short. Okay. So I never, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a dropout. I never, I never completed college. Well, you've done uh, very, very well for yourself. <laughs> well, we're going to be talking much more about I don't your like background. to advise people. Stay yeah. in college. Yeah. Finish. <laughs> yeah, you're not given the advice yeah, 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 to do yeah, that, yeah. But, but you definitely, you've had a very fortunate career. You've been very Thank successful. You. So we're going to take a quick break right now, but we'll be talking much more when we return from these messages. Stay with us.